We have an exceptional opportunity in Montgomery County to celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, we have an opportunity to celebrate his life in a way that I think is unique to Montgomery County. That is the Montgomery County way. You can join us at Strathmore on the date of Martin Luther King celebration here in Montgomery County. Uh, we welcome you and your founders to come out and to celebrate this great day of service and this great day of music, entertainment, and a wonderful camaraderie of people literally from all over the world. Thank you very much. Simply visit our website to select what's right for you and get great ideas from past projects with our volunteer toolkits. The Montgomery County Volunteer Center. Make an impact in your community. Where will you serve? guest is Montgomery County Executive Ike Leggett. One of the other programs that you've really been instrumental with is MLK Junior Day. Mm -hmm. It begins in Silver Spring with different ways of celebrating Dr. King between the Alpha and the Omega. So would you share your concept of that? Well, what we try to do is make uh, MLK Day a day of service, uh, not a day to simply uh, go out and spend money on holiday gifts or whatever you may be doing. But uh, we try to make certain that people live up to the spirit, the core of what Dr. King meant, that is to bring people together, to tear down some of the walls that divide us in many ways. And so we emphasize uh, a variety of things around the community. Silver Spring is just one location. We also have the same thing in Bethesda and several other locations throughout the uh, county. And what we're trying to do is encourage people to come out to participate understand and recognize what community service is about and participate in some form of activities. And we have people competing against each other and we have different organizations, sororities and fraternities that are out actively engaged in all of these activities. But it's a day of service and we try to emphasize that. Uh, but it's a long day with a number of programs around the county built around service and we encourage, especially young people, to get them out and get them involved. And it seems like that program is growing every year with mm -hmm. more and more people coming out and doing acts of service. Well, just to give an example, in places like Silver Spring and the uh, 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 service center there at Silver Spring, at least the, the veteran center, uh, it is packed with hundreds of people. You go to the uh, uh, convention center here at, uh, uh, in, in Rockville, it is packed with thousands of people literally from wall to wall, all engaged in some form of community service. What a great concept. Oh, yeah. Everybody can be great because everybody can say. I think it's particularly important for you to volunteer at MLK Day because MLK was such a huge figure in uh, the civil rights movement and, in, and his values and teachings promote helping other people. Well, they say that Martin Luther King Day is not a day off. It's a day on. It's a day of service. There's people taking gum out of desks. They were helping to rebuild the library and stock it with more books. We're doing everything. We're painting murals, we're removing graffiti, we're cleaning up, we're rearranging the flowers, we're cleaning the gym and the locker rooms. There's fun to be had when you're with a group of people all working towards a common goal. You're gonna have fun, you're gonna have good conversation and make a difference at the same time. The message to the other students is get involved. It will change your life. It's a very rewarding experience. I just, I can't emphasize enough how much getting involved in community service has really shaped my college experience and, uh, and defined what I not only want to do with my next three years here at GW, but really what I want to do with my life. I'd say um, go out and serve. It's really fun, you'll meet new friends. It's kind of like a bonding experience. It'll last forever. I couldn't think of anything better to do on Martin Luther King Day. The Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service Act, challenging Americans to perform volunteer service, was introduced by Senator Harris Wofford and Congressman John Lewis in 1994. The Martin Luther King Jr. holiday legislation was introduced shortly after his death by Congressman John Conyers, 
was opposed and filibustered by Senator Jesse Helms, and eventually passed in 1983. Long a major event in Montgomery County's diverse communities and around the country. It is a chance for you to find an organization that you can support, be proud of, and feel good about giving back. We'll look back at one of our visits to the Volunteer Day events coming up on Travel Television. I love the quote by Dr. King. He said, anyone can be great because anyone can serve. We are Seneca Creek Community Church. We are honoring the birthday of Dr. Martin Luther King with a day of service. We've got about 15 projects going on throughout the building. We have a team of people that are making banners that just say thank you to the awesome job that our fire and our police do every day. We have a, a group of people that are making toys for the Humane Society. We have a team that is putting together move-in kits for men who are ready to transition into independent living. We also have a team of people that are making placemats for the Children's Inn. Families that are staying at the Children's Inn while their children are getting treated. When they sit down for a meal, they're going to have a placemat with some encouraging words, just some smiles, just to help them realize that there are people thinking about them and care about them. Some of the ladies in our congregation that knit are figuring out a way that they can use that hobby and that skill in order to serve other people. And then we've got a blood drive going on. We had about, I want to say 40 to 45 people registered to donate, but we've already had 15 um, walk-ins. Each unit of blood is going to save up to three lives, so it's just an exponential result. So when I was 17, I received six units of blood in three days. And so a blood donation literally saved my life. It is better to give than receive. Getting outside of our own problems and our own worries to give to someone else, ultimately you end up feeling better. We are glad to be able to make our neighborhood a better place. A day on, not a day off. That is the theme of the annual Martin Luther King Jr. Day of Service. Around the United States, community projects support a variety of nonprofit organizations during MLK Junior Day and throughout January. In Montgomery County, the Volunteer Center brings together several thousand volunteers with nonprofit groups to create projects for homeless, veterans, children, and to support other nonprofit groups in the community. Travel Television spoke with the County Executive Ike Leggett and U.S. Congressman John Delaney. Well, one of the things that Dr. King did in his life was to make certain that we come together as a community. One of the best ways you can do that is by service. Events like this are a remarkable reminder to Dr. King's legacy. And I think in many ways it connects us to a larger purpose. Martin Luther King was about service on. And so even though it's a holiday, we call it not a day off, but a day on. I think people should get involved in community service in whatever way makes them most comfortable. The earlier you start community service, the more likely you are to do it across your life. Here in Montgomery County, we could not achieve the level of success for our community without service. And you can never do enough to satisfy the huge demand that's out there. People are helping our servicemen and women and doing something to show our thanks. Feeding those who need food, uh, the homeless shelters, Young people are contacting young people all the way in Uganda. So not only are we helping people here, but we're helping people literally around the world. Dr. King's message and why it resonates so powerfully even today is because it was about love and loving our fellow human beings and caring for them and having a sense of stewardship for them. And you can really reflect the spirit of Dr. King by getting out, getting engaged, whatever community that you're in, and serving others. I think the most uh, moving memory is the first time my wife met uh, Martin and Coretta King. He invited us to hear him at a talk uh, in Baltimore and drive him back with Coretta um, from Baltimore to Washington and then to have some talking together. And on the way back, he and I were strategizing about what would Martin Luther King do uh, if he's going to be a leader that's bringing Gandhi and his ideas into America. And we heard in the back seat, Coretta saying, you know, I have a nightmare 
that at the end of the road that Martin has chosen, he's going to be killed, and that nightmare keeps coming back. And he turned around and said, Corey, I've told you to stop dreaming that nightmare. That's not the point. I didn't choose this. They asked me to chair the Montgomery bus boycott. They came and asked me, and I said yes. And then he hummed a, a spiritual. It was something like, and the Lord came by and asked, and my soul said yes. And of course, we, we all know that most people serve and take action because somebody asked. And this is a day when we're asking people to do what Martin Luther King would do to make this holiday the pursuit of the public happiness of governing ourselves. For, for a long time, people fought to get the King holiday in. I was one of those calling for that. Um, and it finally got achieved nearly 25 years ago. And years had passed, and over the years it had grown, but it was sermons, talks, meetings, lunches. And one, one day I said to myself, this is wrong if Martin Luther King were here. Uh, you say, that's not what I want on my day. Uh, it should be a day on, not a day off. It should be a day when we try to fulfill uh, the goals that uh, Martin Luther King gave his life for. But I teamed up with John Lewis in the House and many Republican and Democratic colleagues of mine in the Senate and, uh, and he in the House. And uh, it got enacted as a, as a statement by Congress that this should be a day of service, a day on, not a day off. I was on Martin Luther King Day in snow at a Habitat for Humanity or a house bill in Philadelphia. And the young African-American who was a volunteer that day in a service corps um, was painting or scraping the, the, the walls that we were working on. And I said, how did you turn to join this service corps? Uh, he had been a gang leader, I was told. He dropped out of school. He was on the way to disaster. And now he was one of their stars. And he said, well, I thought it would be a different gang. I uh, might not die at the end. Sort of joshed. Then he turned around a little a few minutes later and he said, the real reason I am in this core and doing this is all my life people had come to do good, had come into the project where I lived and to help me. And I got tired of people doing good against me. This is the first time in my life anyone ever asked me to do something good for my community. And the light bulb went on. I said, that, that's close to everything that Martin Luther King stood for. These people are doing something important and meaningful. When national holidays have become more about sleeping in or going shopping, these volunteers are honoring the Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. holiday by improving their world. They're making it a day of service to advance Dr. King's mission and honor his memory. I think the King Day of Service is so important because he made such an impact on our lives that we should be able to give something back to the community that he fought so hard to protect. Through his words and example, Dr. King inspired a new generation. Every year, in growing numbers, they join the hundreds of thousands of volunteers, partners, and sponsors to move from words to deeds. The letter is O. O. Right. Within a decade after declaring the King holiday, Congress called on Americans to celebrate the Martin Luther King Jr. holiday as a day of service, reflecting Dr. King's life and teachings. In this country, we celebrate the King holiday to bring honor and respect and justice to a leader the way he acts to be remembered. The King Day of Service is a day to remember, celebrate, and act. A day of reflection and giving back to our communities. We're here to fix up the school um, for Martin Luther King's Service Day. 
It is an opportunity for individuals, families, schools, communities of faith, local groups, corporations, and nonprofits to commit to improving their community and their world. Some of us are painting doors, others are removing graffiti, others are repairing tile work you know, around the pool area, others are, are, are cleaning up and organizing this auditorium. Since 1995, volunteers have pitched in across the United States. From Atlanta to Seattle, local and national corporations sponsor projects coordinated by local groups. They are getting a taste of what it feels like to spend their time helping somebody else. We know that that kind of activity is incredibly fulfilling. We know that once people volunteer in a way that's meaningful for them, they want to do it again. A day of service can include anything from beautifying and cleaning spaces to addressing long-term human needs. One project in Washington, D.C. engaged human resource professionals to provide resume writing and interview coaching to homeless individuals seeking employment, while barbers and hairstylists gave shelter residents and their families free haircuts, facials, and manicures. Since 1996, the Greater Philadelphia King Day of Service has grown from just a few thousand volunteers to over 50,000 people working in their communities alongside local and state leaders in the nation's largest King Day of Service. In 2006, hundreds of those volunteers spent the day working on a Habitat for Humanity house in a box, building the entire frame that was packaged and trucked to Lafayette, Louisiana. The house was completed and presented to a family left homeless by Hurricane Katrina. That signature project received coverage on local affiliates. 50,000 people volunteered making this a day on, not a day off. A champion of civil rights, Dr. Martin Luther King. And National Network News. We need community and nonprofit groups corporations and businesses, educational institutions and faith-based organizations to sponsor and support King Day of Service projects across the country. All right. Projects can be one day or ongoing, from stocking a food pantry to training tutors and mentors for volunteer assignments to engaging students in a semester of service. On the commercial side, corporations like Best Buy and CVS are making these programs possible. And on the nonprofit side, everyone from congregations to school districts come out to make these projects successful. Oh, we're building benches to go uh, on the grounds around the, uh, the school. Service is its own reward, but corporate and nonprofit sponsors also have branding and visibility opportunities. You can put your organization's name and logo on project t shirts, banners, and other promotional items. The King Day of Service is a great way to engage your employees in service and establish relationships in your community. Increased visibility, community goodwill, and customer loyalty are just a few of the benefits you can expect. The Corporation for National and Community Service offers assistance in everything from planning a project to volunteer recruitment to sustainability and public relations strategies. I think that's Dr. King, if he could see this, he would just be smiling and, and, and saying, you know, that it was not in vain because people are doing what he thought that they should be doing, and that is giving back to other people and making a difference. Your support can make this volunteer effort a success, not just for a day, but throughout the year. How will you serve your community this year and honor Dr. King? Everybody can be great, because everybody can say. Martin Luther King Day is so important in terms of volunteering, is Martin Luther King's life was about social equity and social justice. And, and when volunteers work together side by side from all different walks of life, they tend to find they have more in common than they have in differences. The best part about being out here today really is being able to interact with our volunteers and really seeing the joy that they get out of giving back to their community and having a hands-on, 
tangible effect on improving the community. I think at the end of the day, to look throughout the whole school and see the graffiti removed and see the lockers freshly painted, they can really picture what the high school students will feel when they come in first thing in the morning tomorrow. All it takes is an hour or two hours on a Saturday or even on a day like Martin Luther King Day where we know a vast majority of people are off and why not give a couple of hours to Habitat or Hands on Birmingham or the Red Cross to go and, and support your community and help people that are in need. If other nonprofit organizations want, if they're looking for an opportunity for their staff to know that they're not alone, they need to be involved in Martin Luther King Day because other people giving of their time and their heart on their day off to come support the work of our staff and our organization is a huge morale booster. Let's us know that we are not by ourselves in trying to prepare this generation of kids to be the next generation of leaders. You know, what I would say to other organizations that are thinking about getting involved in volunteer activities around Martin Luther King Day, I'd say do it. You're going to make incredible relationships with, with volunteers, volunteer groups, as well as partner agencies all through your community, and those relationships last throughout the year. Senior Corps is Americans age 55 plus using their experience and wisdom to volunteer and make a difference in their communities as foster grandparent, senior companion, and RSVP volunteers. So what's the purpose of Senior Corps? Senior Corps is a way for Americans to use the skills and wisdom they have earned over their lifetimes to make their community stronger and make a difference for generations. Isn't that an amazing way to use a lifetime of experience to help others? So how does Senior Corps make a difference? Well, Americans across the country join Senior Corps each year, and all of them are tackling different problems in different ways. For example, volunteers who serve in Senior Corps' foster grandparent program tutor and mentor students. They provide one-on-one -on -one time to students in busy classrooms, help students increase their reading skills, tutor them in math and writing, and just be a mentor to them. Volunteers who serve in Senior Corps' Senior Companion Program help elderly seniors stay independent and remain in their homes. They drive people to doctor's appointments, provide a much needed break to caregivers and families, and provide friendship and companionship to the people they serve. Volunteers who serve in Senior Corps' RSVP Program volunteer with organizations like the Red Cross, Meals on Wheels, and Habitat for Humanity to help their communities in countless ways. They help veterans find jobs, organize volunteers, rebuild after disasters, provide free tax services, tackle environmental issues, and mentor and tutor students. Learn more about Senior Corps at SeniorCorps.gov. Everybody can be great, because everybody can say. Martin Luther King Day is a great opportunity for people across the country to have an opportunity to sort of step out of their day job and find ways to give back to the community. It's a stewardship responsibility and corporate America and I think the rest of the corporate world takes it very seriously. And I think generally we step up to our responsibility as corporate citizens. So for example, here at the National uh, Women's Museum today, we've got a team that's in helping the museum look at their uh, computer web strategy and how they can best make use of their web strategy going forward. Our people do that uh, in their day jobs with their clients and their ability to come do that today on a day of service and sit down and actually plan out how uh, this organization can work better tomorrow as a result of some collaboration with the private sector I think is a terrific thing. It's incredibly easy for a company to get involved and it really is a different way to connect with employees, a different way to build a sense of team spirit. I think the benefits really to the employee base are huge. The feedback we get from our people is that they're more energized about the jobs that they have, about the 
company that they work for. Uh, and then, you know, the fact that other people around the community see our company engaged in this just says, here's what we stand for, here's how we work, here's who we are. It's understanding that the commitment that they make today on the day of service is actually a commitment that they'll continue with over the course of this year and hopefully in future years. And that, I think, is the value, the real value of the service day. With great privilege comes great responsibility. My generation felt that as younger people, and it's time for us to feel that again. Growing up economically challenged, I understand what it means to be destitute. I understand how it feels to be hungry. If you help someone else, it comes around at a time when you might need help. I like what I do. It gives me a lot of satisfaction. This is a great country. If people were to go ahead and step up to the plate by volunteering or doing something for their fellow man, this country will be greater than it ever was. Today, our efforts are needed more than ever. Because as a generation, we do have work to do. Join thousands by finding which opportunity is best for you. Lead. Inspire. Change the world. Again. Call 1-800-424-8867 today or visit www.getinvolved.gov. We have an exceptional opportunity in Montgomery County to celebrate the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King. Uh, we have an opportunity to celebrate his life in a way that I think is unique to Montgomery County. That is the Montgomery County way. You can join us at Strathmore on the date of Martin Luther King celebration here in Montgomery County. Uh, we welcome you and your founders to come out and to celebrate this great day of service and this great day of music, entertainment, and a wonderful camaraderie of people literally from all over the world. Thank you very much. Simply visit our website to select what's right for you and get great ideas from past projects with our volunteer toolkits. The Montgomery County Volunteer Center. Make an impact in your community. Where will you serve?